What would you say is the the holy grail exercise of building strength? So people usually think about the squat, the deadlift, the bench as the trifecta of I don't know anything about lifting, but those are the three things that I see. Which one would you say is the best indicator of strength? Like a guy who could squat a shit ton, deadlift a shit ton, bench a shit ton? Probably the squat. Probably the squat. De- deadlift is going to be right up there too. I-, I love the raw strength of the deadlift of how much weight can you pick off the ground? That's, you know, if, if people ask me, how, m- how much can you lift? That's that's the first thing I think of is the deadlift. But uh, I would say the squat is probably going to be, if we could do one exercise with athletes, that, that's going to be the go-to. And may even go front squat over back squat on that one. Front squat over back squat? Why front squat? <clears throat> I think you get just a little bit more out of it. I feel personally it's a more natural movement. Holding the bar in front and sitting your hips hips down. Uh, have a tendency to balance you out a little bit because the load is in the front of your body. You also get a little bit of upper body mobility, a little bit more core core stability. Weight is wanting to pull you forward. Mm. Yeah, the uh, I mean, I, I did I did a, a bunch of front squats, especially my last two years because of elbow surgery. So I wasn't I wasn't able to put my arm behind to to do the back squat. And it's definitely a very humbling experience when you do a front squat set for the first time and you expect it to be similar to back squat and it's like 140 pounds less and you feel like you're tipping over and you're like jesus fucking christ like what is this exercise but it's i I like it too for the reasons that you're saying because it keeps you upright and i felt like you could always find a way to cheat a little bit with the back squat but it's very hard to cheat a front squat yeah especially for you guys too because it helps it helps with your thoracic mobility and your shoulder mobility that uh it's going to help, you know, you get more bang for the buck, I guess is what I'm trying yeah. to say. So so if you had a guy who came into the weight room and you wanted to know how strong he was, just raw strength, and you could only f- ask him to do one exercise, you would want to see his front squat? Ooh. Probably front squat or back squat. Front it's, squat or back squat? It's a toss-up. Depends on the day of the week. Is, is there something about the squatting movement specifically that makes it a better indicator of raw strength than the deadlift? Because there, there are a lot of people that would say if you wanted to test a guy's raw strength, number one, squatting, number two. It, it, for you, what is it specifically about the movement that makes squatting superior to the deadlift in terms of raw strength? I don't know if it is superior, to be honest with you. I like it because it's, it's traditionally like it's king of king of exercises. It's... Uh, if we have to do only one thing, it's probably going to be the squat. As far as which one's better, I don't think there's a right answer because they both load you differently. 